Here's the November 2023 Castle Pines real estate market update. And for the market update, I always break Castle Pines into two different groups. The first is the original communities, which those are generally the communities west of I-25 that were built prior to 2010. And the new communities are those generally east of I-25 built after 2010, which includes the canyons, Castle Pines Valley, and the Castle Pines Town Center. We're gonna start out with the original communities first. And in the original communities in the month of November, the average sales price set a new record high, which is great news, at $1,291,917. But you have to remember that the average sales price can vary substantially from month to month in both the original communities and the new communities because there's very few home sales in these. And this chart here shows that, how the variability from month to month occurs. So the blue line represents the monthly average sales price and the orange line, reddish line, represents the rolling 12 month average, which provides a much more even view of what's going on in the market. But you can definitely see the blue line popping around and that's why the average sales price from month to month can be very deceiving. So I like to look at both three month and 12 month moving averages. And generally, if you look at these three and 12 month moving averages, the average home price is still down about 4% to 6% off the market high set in 2022. The second big thing about the real estate market in Castle Pines and the original communities is the pace of home sales continues to be extremely slow. And this next chart here shows uh, how many homes have sold over a 12 month period, prior 12 month period. So each month it's looking back 12 months and telling you how many homes have sold. And that represents here the blue line that you see. And you can see how that line uh, starting in June of 2022 just drastically fell and has dropped down like a rock. Uh, you know, before kind of as you look at the chart between 2015 and 2022 in June of 2022, roughly there were around 200 homes selling each year in the city of Castle Pines in the original communities. And then uh, post COVID starting in mid 2022, we just saw the number of sales start to plummet as interest rates went up. So remember interest rates during this time uh, slowly climbed from 3% to 8% uh, at the end of last October. So that's what drove this reduction in sales. However, uh, even with so few homes selling, you're not seeing prices drop substantially. And that's because the number of new listings coming on the market has also fallen substantially. And I'll bring this chart back up here again, and that's what the orange line in this chart is, is the number of new listings on a 12 month rolling basis. And you can see over time that going back clear to where this chart had started in the original communities in 2012 and 2013, you're seeing a higher level of sales kind of running around, or new listings, I'm sorry, coming around 300 new listings per year. And then it slowly fell, kind of fell into the 250 range uh, between 2015 and 2020. And then with COVID starting, uh, the impact of new listings coming in the market was substantially affected as well. And so you started to see uh, the number of new listings falling. And you can see it almost mirroring the line of uh, sales in Castle Pines as well. And so the combination of fewer homes coming on the market with fewer sales has actually kept the market balanced. So that's why home prices have not collapsed or dropped substantially. And they are moving more on a seasonal pattern like we've seen uh, prior to the COVID years. Based upon current inventory levels and current market conditions, it looks like we're gonna to continue to see more of the same over the next three to six months in the city of Castle Pines and the original communities. And that is that inventory will remain low and home prices should stay relatively steady. Again, we're kind of in a seasonal lull that happens in November, December, January, February, uh, where prices should stay a little bit lower, uh, but they should start to pick up as we enter the spring market, assuming inventory stays low. Now let's talk about market activity in the new communities. And there was only one sale in the new communities in the month of November, one closed sale reported in MLLS. Now it's important to remember that in the new communities, that a lot of the activity in there is builder activity and the builders do not report all activity into the MLS system. So the MLS system data that I'm showing you here is representative of what's going on in the new communities, but it's not all inclusive. So there's still a lot more activity, a lot more sales going on from the builders. 
And what's interesting to note there is that the average prices in the new communities, if you look at the three and 12 month moving averages, has moved up. Uh, the average sales price in the 12 month uh, moving average is up 15.6%. And in the uh, three month rolling average, it's up 13.1%. But if you look at the average price per square foot, those are actually staying relatively flat. They're actually down slightly both in the three month and the 12 month moving average. And if you look at this chart here, this illustrates this well. This shows both the average price per square foot and the average price uh, um, or the average sales price. So you can see the two of these and there's a 12 month rolling average in here and then there's the month to month variability, which again, can vary substantially because of how few sales there are. So the 12 month moving average, if you look at the orange line, that shows you the average sales price and you'll see how that's continuing to creep up since uh, January, 2023. It kind of flatlined from January of 2022 to January of 2023 and then it's slowly been coming up. However, if you look at the average price per square foot, that line has stayed relatively static since uh, July of 2022. Why the difference? Well, the difference is due to the size of homes being sold. Uh, the Generally, uh, they're selling bigger homes now in the newer communities. And so the sales prices are higher because the homes are bigger. But if you look at on price per square foot basis, the prices have actually stayed relatively steady. And again, the builders control pricing still in these communities because uh, what they sell their homes at will drive what a resale could sell out as well. And builders like to stay uh, relatively consistent with their pricing. And they're holding their pricing steady right now. They've been offering incentives outside of price to help entice buyers to buy. Um, and they are continuing to sell. The other one thing that stands out about the new communities compared to the original communities is the active listings or number of homes for sale has stayed relatively consistent. And the reason is because unlike traditional homeowners, who are saying they want to stay put, they like their interest rate, they don't want to move. Home builders are there to sell homes. And so they are going to consistently put homes on the market from month to month. And that's why the active listing activity has stayed relatively consistent in the new communities over the last several years. Again, they're just trying to pace their sales and pace their building so it stays relatively consistent. And they don't care about interest rates, they don't care about market conditions, they just want to build and sell homes on a month to month basis. Overall in the new communities, uh, because builders are controlling the pricing, we'd expect home prices to stay relatively steady. Um, we are not seeing inventory build substantially in there, uh, although it is at a higher level comparatively than what the original communities are. But again, uh, they're seeming to build, builders are doing a good job pacing their building with demand in the market. So we should uh, expect to see home prices stay relatively steady in the new communities over the next three to six months. If you have additional questions about the real estate market in Castle Pines, please reach out to me at 303-886-3437. And I'd be happy to talk to you further about how uh, the market conditions are impacting your home value and specifically what's going on in your immediate neighborhood within Castle Pines. Have a great day.